Well, we're not in Ballyhome Bay, but <laughs> And we haven't been in Ballyhome Bay for quite a while. Um, we had, um, while we were in Ballyhome Bay, there was a, a, a big storm um, coming through. Mm. And it was coming through from the south, wasn't it, Bev? South coming round to the west. It was the west that was the problem. Mm. Um, Ballyhome is great uh, for the southerly, but the westerly component... It can, um, be, it can be exposed, particularly if it swings to the northwest, and if it swings to the north, you're doomed. Absolutely. Um, but um, it was getting really, really risky uh, being at the anchorage. Uh, so what we decided to do is to use it as an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we came back to the marina and we spent a week doing jobs, haven't we? We have, and um, none of them particularly major significant, but just sort of like little things that we're just annoyed with and things like that. We just wanted them done, so... Yes, we... like we, we'd never, we would feel to grease the top bearing on the sail, and it's the one that's exposed to the weather. And so we've done that today, and it was filthy. It certainly was. Um, another wee job we've done is <laughs> we finally uh, put the uh, backstay line on. Yep, we've got the washboards under control now. Yeah, um, and I've just did a, a whole host of tiny little things that just needed doing. So uh, this is what we did. Is there progress happening? <laughs> yeah, well, well Beverly's um, ranting, trying to do the door. No, Beverly's given up on the door, totally. Beverly has given up on the door. I've been um, doing lots of little things. So um, our splicing um, practice rope is now a new fender a new fender rope. So I've done that. Um, this is a, oops, an Ikea bag. And that's going to be our new sail bag. But just so the... Sail bag for what? Uh, for our uh, cruising chute. Thank you. Uh, so this is our cruising chute sail bag. But um, so that I don't lose the bag over the side, I've just added a clip. So that um, when you come up to the, to the rail, you'll just clip it on. And then when the sail's out, it's not going to fly off the boat. So I've done that, um, I'm fixing um, the canopy at the moment and I've also, oh, look at this, I've made a window. So this is going to be my window piece. So um, yeah, this is out of the plastic that I had left over from the windows last year. So uh, basically, with our extension of our extension, um, we can have a window instead. Is so, it an extension to the extension to the extension? No, it's not an extension to the extension to the <laughs> extension, but it's just... It's a hyper extension. Yeah. <laughs> we can basically have a window panel. Um, so we can either have cloth or a window panel. So, you know, uh, all I've got to do is um i've got them here is uh, basically i've started one but i've got to size it all up is uh, these little toggles um that's going to be how you attach it to the boat but i'm going to wait until it stops raining for that Okay, so we have an additional update. Oh yeah, I've also been making these. Um, this is how I attach our extension to our extension. Uh, basically, it's just a penny washer, a little bit of cordage, and a um, anorak toggle. Um, bit of sewing, and basically that goes through these uh, rivets. Well, no, grommets is the right phrase. Goes through the grommets. We're calling them more rings next. <laughs> yeah, it goes through the grommets. And then you just pull it up with um, the uh, the anorak toggle. So I've made a few of those. Well, my very simple window looks like it will work. So that, you know, when it's a rainy day, we can actually add some more light. And uh, for plastic that was 
not doing anything then uh, you know at least now I've put it into good use I do have another little project that I might do with it but we're gonna have to wait for a rainy day for that one but you never know it's but Beverly prefers these longer toggles because they're just easier than the short ones which I've used over there so Beverly just wants me to make more of these but that's dead easy Up you go, you pesky pussy cat. Puss, puss. Well, this is a hazard of. Uh... I see we have a stowaway on board. <laughs> yeah, we do. Anyway, <laughs> let's get rid of it. <laughs> I do like cats, though. Well, we've decided to use the day, which is nice and calm, to do the top bearing of the um, furling mechanism. And I'm glad we did because it is absolutely full of rubbish. So I'm just picking out the old used grease, which has gone hard. I'm cleaning it with white spirit. And then what I'll do is when I get it fully clean, I will put some new fresh Selden grease in and we'll hoist it back up. We're not taking the sail off. The trick is to get this done and get the sail back up before any wind hits. So. Back to the salt mines. The new backstay looks very smart. What, oh. what, what happened to the old one? It was like cardboard. Um, we were thinking of using it as a dog rope, but it was so stiff and so horrible. Um, it was just, it had to go off the boat. And we all, when we say that, we say, get the grot off the yacht. And when we had it loosened, mm. I mean, we, we had it completely off. Yeah, we put a uh, rope in so that the safety line, uh, but we didn't really need it. Uh, but we both felt a lot happier. But uh, I've just whipped it because, let's be honest, everything needs to be whipped and in place. Who were? Lady Whiplash. I know. <laughs> so, Beverly, I see we've got something out that we norm don't or normally get out. Oh. The bosun's chair, yeah. For my punishments, I'm being sent up the mast and I'm being punished for my crime of putting such a faint bulb in the last time I had the mast down that glowworms outshine it on a bad night. Which so, particular light are we talking about? Oh, the steaming light, the steaming light. Um, we effectively don't have one, it's so faint. So I've got a couple of brighter bulbs in my pocket. I've taken two in case one doesn't work. And um, I've got cutters, double-ended screwdriver, knife and pliers, and hopefully that'll be all I need. But I'll not find out till I'm up there. So since I qualify as the slightly lighter of the two of us, and since I installed it the last time, up I go. This is hard work. I can see why they have legs. What? I see why they don't put steps on. <laughs> I've been looking after the halyards. So what I've got is this red halyard 
that is actually on the winch and that is the main halyard that is li lifting up for Beverly and um, that's the halyard that we use for our cruising shoot. This blue one okay that is our mainsail halyard and uh, that's currently our safety line so it's uh, locked off you can see it's all locked off so it can't go down but I've been pulling on that while lifting Beverly it would have been better if I could have had it on both on the other side but um, we just needed the red one um, that was a better line than the blue than the green because okay so I'm going to stop yammering and, right. okay, so well, and put on the seaming light <laughs> Beverly uh, forgot some tape so uh, I've had to hoist her up a wee bag but yeah as asses go that one's pretty good so we've just tested the steaming light and apparently it works so Beverly's got to put it back together and then I've got to drop her and then there'll be a yeah Lower, another please. what Lower. <laughs> I think Beverly's uh, objecting to my wording of the word drop. Lower. I've got to lower her. make a suggestion to me the other day when we were getting bashed in Ballyhome Bay about why don't we come into the long hole this this thing here which is sort of like a, a an old harbour which is largely disused now I think it gets used for rowboats and small motorboats and maybe paddle boarders it's quite shallow uh, there are a few pot markers in it somebody has dropped a fishing pot right in the entrance but the thing about it is I don't know what the depth is but I suspect that if we did get salty lass in here we'd never get her out again because there's not a lot of room to turn a 37 foot boat and, you but, know it dries. and we know parts of this dry as well but you can see why the suggestion was fair enough and why this thing got used because the conditions out there are horrendous the conditions in here are lovely so it's a it was a nice thought um <laughs> but uh I don't think we'll be bringing Salty Lass in here anytime soon. Just one other little thing that I've just noticed over my shoulder as I was turning away. You can see over here, there's three ducks. Two of them have got white feathers. For those of you who've ever slept on eider downs, those are eider ducks, just in case you haven't seen them. We're still in Bangor and this is one of the reasons we're still in Bangor. Uh, the weather has just been persistently from the south and it's been stormy and it's been gusty. It's now shifting around to the north and we're hoping that that means that very very soon we can get to go but we're not going out in this. It's spectacular to watch. Uh, it's lovely to see the waves coming up and the, the white foam and everything. It's just breathtaking. But it's not really something I want to be sailing in. <laughs> not today at any rate. <laughs> not ever actually. But uh, yeah, we're just going to enjoy the sunshine and the waves and a bit of fresh air. And hopefully in the next day or two, the adventure will begin. A bit delayed, but weather is what it is and it's a sailboat. You can't fight the weather. <laughs> <laughs>